bare, exposed cast iron is subject to rust. It's likely that sooner or later you'll need to deal with rust on the table of your cast iron saw. The sooner you notice any rust or rust sources, the easier it will be to remove, and the less likely there will be any real harm to the surface, such as pitting. This video shows you how to remove rust and how to prevent or minimize the possibility of rust buildup in the first place. And this is just one approach. You may have your own methods that work just as well. To begin, as always, take precautions before working on the saw. Turn off the saw. Remove the lockout key. Unplug the saw. If you have the industrial cabinet saw, turn off and lock the disconnect switch. The first line of defense against rust is to recognize potential moisture sources in your saw's environment. There are basically two ways water can find its way onto your saw's table. Condensation and direct contact. Other than the obvious spills, there are some sources that are easy to overlook or forget, especially since rusting is not immediately visible. Here, rust was caused by sweat from a handprint. Paw prints were the culprit here. Fingerprints. Perhaps a patch of slightly damp sawdust. This pattern may have been caused by condensation trapped under boards that were allowed to sit on the table overnight. Obviously, it's best to recognize potential moisture transfer when it happens and wipe the area right away. Regardless, no matter how diligent you are, rust will eventually find its way onto unprotected cast iron. Here's how to deal with existing rust. To begin to break up the rust, you'll soak the entire tabletop with WD-40. Though the rust will typically be in isolated spots, you'll treat the entire tabletop to keep your repair process and finish consistent on all the surface. First, blow off dust. Remove the blade guard and lower the blade. Keep the insert in for now to protect the internals. Wipe off any dirt or grime. You can use a common cleaner such as 409. Before applying the WD-40, mask or remove components or accessories to protect from splatter. In this case, I mask with painter's tape and shop towels. Apply a generous coat of WD-40 to the entire tabletop. Spread it around to make sure you have complete coverage. Allow to soak for a good amount of time, long enough to penetrate and break up the rust. In this case, I let it sit for several hours. Next, cut a section of Scotch-Brite pad to fit your holder or sanding block. Scrub in a front-to-back motion across the table. Scrub the entire surface evenly. Try not to focus on the rust alone or on one small location of the table. Uneven scrubbing could leave a shiny spot in that location. And it is best to use a holder or sanding block to make sure you get even distributed pressure on the pad. Minimally, you'll want to scrub until you get a dark slurry. This example was fairly rusty, so I scrub well beyond that point. A 
Again, it may take a little discipline and diligence to give the entire tabletop the same level of scrubbing, regardless of where the rust was actually located. Ultimately, it will likely take quite a bit of elbow grease and numerous passes. When satisfied, use the shop towels to wipe the surface. Remove and clean the insert. Clean the surrounding throat surfaces for the insert. Include the miter slots in the cleanup. The table surface should appear considerably better now. Note that if the rust has been there for some time, it can leave a discoloration. This may look pretty bad, but it's just cosmetic, and it does look worse at this zoom level and at this resolution. It's virtually impossible to remove all the WD-40 using shop towels alone, and you certainly don't want to transfer oil to your work pieces. So the next step is to wipe down with denatured alcohol. Pour a generous amount on the surface. Wipe off with the shop towels before it evaporates. This should get the remaining WD-40 seen and unseen. Remove any masking. At this point, though clean, the cast iron is unprotected. There are various ways to protect cast iron tools. Here I'm using paste wax. Use a clean cotton rag to apply a generous coat. Let the wax sit. After about 20 minutes or so, it should have a dry, cloudy appearance. Use another clean cotton rag to wipe off the wax. Don't worry about polishing yet. Once you've removed the obvious dry film, use another rag to polish. There's no special method or pattern here. As you polish, the wax will lose that slightly grabby feel and will become very slippery. When satisfied that you've buffed out that coat, we recommend that you repeat this process twice, applying two more coats of wax. That's it. The surface should now be protected, as well as low friction, for months or even years, depending on your saw usage. Finally, for a T-glide fence, it's a good idea to wax the exposed metal on the front tube where the fence slides back and forth. Wipe down and then apply a coat of wax. In the case of the industrial cabinet saw, unlock and turn on the disconnect switch.
plug in the saw. Install the lockout key. You have learned how to remove rust from and protect your cast iron tabletop. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, contact SawStop Service.